Are you guys ready for some drama? Hi guys, Alex here. Welcome back to Girl Talk. I've got a little bit of mess and a little bit of drama today for you guys. And in today's video, we are going to go ahead and do a Shuntopolis world update. And it would seem as though Foodie has made her return to the internet. Of course, with her return comes drama. We're going to go ahead and go over her most recent live stream as well as a slew. I just love that word slew of community tab posts aimed at her nemesis, French fried girl. The drama never ends here on Girl Talk. So let's just get right into it. I mean, shall we? All right, y'all, let's get into our Shantopolis world update. Today, around, I guess, 8 p.m. Kuwait time, Shanta came on. She made her return to the world of YouTube in a live stream entitled Iftar and Storytime. In case you guys are not familiar, Iftar actually refers to the meal eaten after sunset during Ramadan. In the early morning, people who celebrate Ramadan partake in what is called suhoor before the sun rises and then iftar after the sun sets to break the fast. Don't tell me you didn't learn anything from Girl Talk. This is an education channel. No, really. Now back to Chantal. Anyways, this is her first live stream since announcing that she was going to be taking a break from the internet. It's a new month today. New month, new girl. Don't believe a thing you hear today, guys. Remember 14's fake arrest last year? I'll never forget, but no jokes today from Foodie. She's dead serious. Does anyone else get kind of annoyed when she leans over and tells Salah's secret during the live stream? It's kind of rude. Like, imagine doing that in real life. Chantal claims that she is going to go to the gym, and she does talk about her new journey quite a bit, and we'll get into that. She has just been working on her videos, staying focused during her break, not watching reaction channels all night. Right. As far as drama in the community, she seems to know everything that has gone on this past week despite her break. Chantal says that she is struggling to cook right now. She's having a hard time with Middle Eastern cuisine, as well as dealing with the heat generated from her appliances. So perhaps this is what made her decide to get back to her job. The takeout isn't going to buy itself, girls. It's too stressful for her to cook. Girl, I have to wonder at this point, like, what is she bringing to the table? I'm not like super traditional by any means, but what do you bring? No, seriously. I mean, she doesn't cook. She doesn't clean. She doesn't mow the lawn. She doesn't take out the garbage. She doesn't drive. So what exactly is she bringing to this relationship? I was a little confused at first. I thought she had the bubble guts, but it was actually Salah's hookah. She talks about filming at the gym and it is a woman's only gym. So basically it varies for different people, but it is permissible to not wear a hijab in front of other women generally. And she has to be careful not to film these people. It really does sound like a dangerous game. Like, like given the circumstances, why bother? But on the other hand, if she doesn't film, nobody will believe she even went. She says that Salah drops her off at the gym for two and a half hours. Yeah, right. I don't know if I believe that. And she does cardio for 30 minutes. She has a family size takeout container, but claims that it isn't all for now. She says that she came on because people are speculating too much and she doesn't want it to sort of run wild. She says Salah will do a video about his business and none of our theories are true. If the business is not 100% legit, I wouldn't do a video, just saying. But this is the same woman who told the world that she didn't pay her taxes. At one point in the video, Chantal claims that she is a mini Kuwaiti celebrity. When she was in a fast food joint, a man knew who she was in Kuwait. She makes a joke that FFG dressed her brother up in Middle Eastern clothes and sent him to Kuwait, and that was the guy she met in the fast food place. <laughs> and she also claims that she has absolutely nothing to do with Murad and Salah's business. Chantal says that it is Islamophobic to make fun of her abayas and to call Salah salad, but people excuse it because they just don't like her. Chantal begins to clap back, this time focusing on Shannon and the recent video that we discussed, her scathing message. Chantal thinks it's hypocritical that nobody called her out on it. I mean, there were people that criticized it, but that wouldn't fit Chantal's narrative, now would it? She refers to FFG as, quote, goblin. Chantal says everything is so toxic right now, and this is funny. She says these people should just log off because it's just the internet. Oh, the irony, girl. 
reaction channels have the nerve to come after people for coming for them when that's all they do. Well, yeah, it's sort of like a back and forth most of the time, isn't it? She brings up her ex-boyfriend, the one that kind of initiated this downward spiral. And she says, he's not a man, he's a boy. He puts his hands on women. I'm just surprised that she would even bring him up still. But I digress. She says her situation with Allah is 100% real. She is not in cahoots. She doesn't lie. Only about vegan nuggets. Is anyone else kind of tired of her FFG rants? Like, I get they have a back and forth, but it's the same thing every time for now years. And she never really has any great insults up her sleeve. I thought she was supposed to abstain from negative thoughts during Ramadan. She tells this embarrassing story about how she was in a store and she loudly hiccuped and everyone turned around to look at her. Intriguing. Riveting. She admits that she could work on her public decorum. You wouldn't say. This live stream was like the absolute worst because she kept telling these stories and then she would get sidetracked. It was like the most frustrating video, guys. Towards the end of the live stream, Salah comes on to join our girl in what can only be described as a rage fest. She goes in for most of the latter half of the live stream. Recently, there was this strange post over on r slash foodie beauty of someone claiming to have purchased Salah's perfume slash room spray and the Beezer perfume in particular. Many people called into question the legitness of this, and they thought that maybe they were associated with Foodie and Salah because they were claiming it smells good and it was legit. It was like this whole thing. Well, yes, it's fully legit. I saw their WhatsApp number at the mall and made an order via message. Many businesses in Kuwait are fully online, but t Dar is on WhatsApp and Insta and in the mall. It's legit as any other business I've seen. Chantal claims that they don't sell the Beezer perfume though, and it had to be photoshopped. It's not her. I mean, if you have the Beezer perfume, please do a video. The individual said that they ordered the fume on WhatsApp. The business becomes curiouser and curiouser. During the beginning of the video, she kind of owns the BBJ situation. Not cutting her nails was, quote, my oversight. She can't stand the hypocrisy of people being overweight and obese and reacting to her. I mean, this has been a theme for, what, years now? In my opinion, as long as you're not lying about being skinny, I couldn't care less if a reactor is fat. Funny is funny. So Salah goes off on FFG for having a thumbnail that said Hamadon. Chantal continues to dig her hole deep at one point in the video, she makes a threat towards French fried girl. Roll the clip. My rages passed. Hers recent. They're scary. They're scared to talk about Shannon or uh, FFG. Yeah. They're scary. And it's funny because she's a coward because when she was in my face, she didn't have the nerve to say any of what she says behind her computer screen and her crappy avatar to my face because I would have smashed it instantly. And yeah, that's a threat. I would have done it. Really, it's all kind of the same thing for someone who continues to talk about how much she has changed. It's the same thing. Just now, Salah is joining her in on the fun. She's still going on about the BBJ situation. If she was in Canada, she would have such a case, she says. At the end of the stream, Chantal is off for a late night gym sesh. Who's buying this? Maybe she can work off some of this steam. Clearly, she is choosing to stay mad. And that is evident in these recent community tab clapbacks. Calling out your vile Islamophobia is not raging, rage, pit. You have no business talking about Ramadan when you don't have a soul, period. I'll give you a couple guesses who that's about. You keep the wheel spinning by reacting to her reactions because that's what everyone expects from you. Try and have emotional intelligence. Girl. Just ignore her, don't give in, it'll be hard, but in the long term, it'll be worthy. To which Chantal says, true, I know. <laughs> hey, are you going to do a three-hour live stream addressing the blanket covering the hovel you are hanging out in, hypocrite? You sure spent a lot of time picking apart my Kuwaiti apartment. To which she shows a picture of FFG in the live stream that she did over at Shannon's in Cornwall. And I guess there's like a bed sheet on the windows instead of curtains. Anyways, I can't wait to see Shannon's clapback video because Chantal was really going in on Shannon during this live stream. Stay mad. All right, you guys, that's going to be it for today's video. Let me know what you guys think in the comments down below. I will see you guys tomorrow night for our very special Sunday night live stream. I literally like rewired my internet and I upgraded my internet. So if I still have problems with my internet on tomorrow's live stream, I'm totally going to lose it. Anyways, did anyone watch Amber's Mexican WLS clickbait? Maybe we'll discuss that tomorrow. I don't know. I will, of course, catch you guys in the next one. All right. Bye, guys.